My first memory of Kendall was in 2004, our Meta Elementary Talent Show. Every year, Kendall had the cutest outfits and the sickest dance move that this eight-year-old had ever seen. I remember this year specifically because Kendall was wearing what we call nowadays a crop top. A red, white, and blue one to be exact. I remember seeing her on stage and thinking, I need to be friends with a girl like that. Almost all of the memories that I have from childhood involve Kendall in some way. From Girl Scout camping trips to middle school volleyball to spending our teen years walking pigs and cows around the backyard to every high school football game and homecoming dance, Kendall was always beside me. I can go on for days about all of the things I love about Kendall, but we'd be here all night, so I won't do that. I'll only name a few. Kendall is strong, not only physically, but mentally. She is strong in her faith and her beliefs. She is caring and thoughtful. She is the type of person who knows what she wants and works hard until she achieves it. She excels at being a best friend, a sister, a daughter, and I know she will excel at being a wife as well. Trent is exactly what I could have imagined for Kendall. Someone who is genuine, kind, hardworking, funny, and someone who is able to put up with her attitude. We probably have to work on your tolerance to red wine, but that will come with time. <laughs> the thing about Kendall and Trent is that they are so different from each other, yet complement one another in so many ways. There is nothing more satisfying than seeing a couple come together as one. Kendall and Trent share in each other's pleasure and bear one another's pain. They laugh together and they celebrate together. They truly are best friends. Kendall is one of the most caring, loving, and kind-hearted people I know. Day or night, she will always be there. We've gone through many laughs, heartaches, and memories. We have made many memories together, from childhood lemonade stands in our front yard, um, to pool parties, snowmobile trips up north, rafting on the 4th of July, snowboarding at the mountain, and nights in the barn singing our hearts out concerts, vacationing together, and helping each other plan our wedding days.
All right. Well, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight to celebrate Kendall and Trent. We are very grateful and blessed to have you here with us. So as a father, you pray for your daughter to find a man that will love her, respect her, and stand by her side for the rest of her life. I know my prayers have been answered for Kendall with Trent. Trent, I'm so proud to call you my son-in-law. I'm happy for the both of you. And I can't wait to see what God has planned for you for the rest of your lives. Trent and Kendall, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Yes. And will you love and honor one another as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Yes. And we accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Yes. And since it is your intention to enter into marriage, we ask you to declare your consent before God and your friends and family. And Trent, will begin with you. Look at Kendall, because you're marrying her, not me, okay? <laughs> I, Trent, take you, Kendall. I, Trent, take you, Kendall. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Very good, Trent. And Kendall, repeat after me. Look at him. You're marrying him, not me, okay? <laughs> I, Kendall, take you, Trent. I, Kendall, take you, Trent. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And Kendall and Trent, you've declared your consent before God and your friends and family. May the Lord fill you both with his blessings and give you a lifetime of happiness and peace. What God has joined together, no one must ever separate or divide. If anybody has spent any time with Trent, you haven't left without a smile. And I can guarantee tonight will not be an exception. We love you, Trent. We love you, Kendall. And in the words of the great Hambino, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart, and you can never go wrong. Tonight we come together to celebrate you both following your hearts, and may the love never be forgotten. <laughs> 